Hey, what's up? It's Len. So, yes, I'm a coin guy, but you know what else? I'm also a watch guy. What we have here is my only vintage watch. This is a Waltham Inca block. I'm not entirely certain of the age because I've never had the back off. Um, if this were to have a... Um, if this were to have a Seiko movement in it, then um, it would be like post 1954. I'm guessing because it says Swiss under the six o'clock there that this is indeed a vintage American made Waltham. Also, judging by the Art Deco letters on the, or numbers at the 12, 9, and 6, that this is a 40s era Waltham. Um, beautiful watch. I'm a sucker for a gold-plated case with a champagne dial. And the, uh, the red arrow on the second hand just does it for me. But this watch has pretty severe damage on the crystal here. You can see right at the 6 o'clock here that there are some pretty significant uh, scratches that I will be trying to restore tonight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tape this off and I am going to, before I, before I take this to a jeweler to have the crystal replaced, I'm just going to see if I can restore it. So I'm going to first file it down with this emery board here. I'm going to use some light uh, sanding motions to clean this off and try to make it smooth. And then I will polish it with toothpaste. So. These watches, I have a future plan for these. I do want to get into watchmaking, so I picked these up at an estate sale, and uh, I'm going to buy the tools and start to learn um, watchmaking. So that'll be fun. Um, I'll get it taped off, and then we will go from there. All right, so I have the case taped off fairly well here. And so now I'm just going to take the emery pad here, the emery board, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just going to lightly sand. Again, the areas I need to address are right down here at, in the bottom half of the crystal and then right above here too. I want to get those spots cleaned off. So I'm going to give this a real gentle treatment and get this um, scuffed up, smoothed out, and then we'll use the toothpaste to polish it all out and make it look nice. After my first go with the uh, with the uh, toothpaste, you can see that it's still quite cloudy and there's still a lot of work yet to do. So we're just going to keep applying toothpaste until this clears up and starts to look real nice. Well, as you can see, it still is quite scratched, especially if you see around the edges. So a little more toothpaste, a little more water, so it'll be like a wet sanding application, and a little more elbow grease. We should have her cleaned up lickety split. All right. Third application, you can see we're getting closer, we're getting better, but uh, we are not there yet. We got a ways to go. What's cool is you can see what time it is and how long I've been working on this. So we're gonna keep on keeping. Well, you can see by the time on the clock how long I've worked on this, and it's a little better. Like, there's still the scratch there, but the, whole, the overall thing is very hazy. 
So I need a better polish. So the bottom line is, I think I'm just gonna have to take this in and get the new crystal. So didn't go as planned, but um, I'm glad I did it, glad I tried it. And um, bottom point line is, don't try this at home. I tried a magic eraser. I tried just a, a regular sponge just to get some different pressures and things. So I think I need a finer polish of some kind. I think toothpaste just doesn't cut it. In fact, I may just need a finer grit sandpaper. Real, right there at that angle, you can really see how it's left. So, I don't know, kind of a cool experiment, but um, I don't know if it's worth any more of my time. I'll kick it around, but if you dig it, um, hit the like button, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one.